Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Aubrey. I'm Emma. This is BDE Podcast. Big Dick Energy. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Uh, how was your week, Emma? It was good. I don't really remember much of it. I'm sure it was good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, I did go to Nashville. That's what I did this weekend. Oh, that's exciting. What did you do? It was fun. Um... Well, I hung out with like Kane and his roommate a lot. I got to see Lucy. That's exciting. Sick. Yeah, I made this like mac and cheese that takes two hours because it's all like from scratch. Not really, mm-hmm. but like from scratch. Was it good? Um, oh my God. I don't know how I do it. I really <laughs> don't. It was so good. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's the most exciting thing that's happened though. Yeah. I mean, that's not a bad thing, though. I'd take mac and cheese <laughs> any day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What about you, dude? Um, dude, last week was a mess. I had so many assignments and tests and stuff. I literally had a quiz or a test every single day last week. So that, that was sucks. super fun. Um, I did watch Euphoria, though, which was really good the whole thing definitely yeah I definitely recommend it I did it when I didn't want to study <laughs> so it was good though I really enjoyed it I I, also, I was yeah. watching it as it came out so it was completely okay. weird yeah yeah I mean I stole someone's HBO password to watch it so <laughs> you have to do it yeah, it was, it was worth it. I really enjoyed it, though, so. All right, you want to get into it? Yeah, let's go for it. Right. So today we're going to be talking about things that we have irrational beef with. We'll explain why we have beef, beef with these things, but it's not like people, you know, that we know. No. Are, if, it, yeah. If, celebrities maybe but that's yeah that's about it I mean yeah yeah, have you had like actual beef with anyone like recently I guess oh I don't know about recently or just I guess I still have like low-key beef going on but it's like not the height of it so it doesn't count what about you dude I feel like I never really I just like hate the word beef also like if somebody's like we got beef I'm like no we don't and most of the time also it's like someone else thinking that we have beef and I'm just like I don't really care and then they do something to piss me off and then I'm just like I'm not talking to you again you're out of my life goodbye and that's about it and then I guess we're just nothing anymore we don't even have beef we're nothing (laughs) you gotta snip snip it sometimes yeah that's only happened like twice though, so. Okay. All right. Sick. You wanna, yeah, you, you wanna start? Yeah, I'll let you go, dude. Okay. You start. Yeah, I got a long list today. So <laughs> I think we'll start with like my, the most recent one that I've realized that I have beef with, and that's Tom Morello, who is the lead I think he's the lead guitarist for maybe like Metallica or something oh. I'm not really sure what band he is so don't quote me or don't get mad at me if I don't know but I do <laughs> know that he is in Guitar Hero and you have to do the guitar duel thing against him and it's the first one And, you know, on easy, it's not too bad. And then you get up to medium, and it's just, like, so hard for no reason whatsoever. You know, like, at the end, you literally battled the devil at the end of Guitar Hero. I didn't know that. And you play The Devil Went Down to Georgia. (laughs) And that's, like, the last one. And that's easier than Tom Morello. So I played... Tom Morello in Guitar Hero probably 13 times before I beat him the first time and I just I hate him now 
I hate him. I don't, we got beef, Tom Morello. I'm sorry. I just, I cannot do it. Oh, oh it no. It makes me angry. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to do one that I've had since I started driving because I've always lived in the South. That's just mm-hmm. something that I've been cursed with. <laughs> and oh my God, this is going to get really personal. White F 150s can rot in hell. Every driver of one is the worst person you'll ever meet. Like you can just, ugh, and like they can't drive. And there was one day, like I was driving to work, minded my business. And yes, I like speed a little bit, but like I gotta get to work on time. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. So I'm like driving and I was just like, you know, vibing. And then this, like, it was me and this um, uh, 14 wheeler, 18 wheeler, one of the wheelers. And he kind of got stuck behind me in this 14 wheeler or whatever. And so I was speeding up to like pass it. And this man, I don't know how it happened or why he did it, but it hit, like it was going to hit me. Like, and that happened this morning on my way to work. Oh God. With a white F-150. And when I drive, cause I do the drive to Nashville like every other weekend. So I, I know it mm-hmm. pretty well. I know the speed traps and everything. Thank God. Um, mm-hmm. Oh my God. And once you get closer to Nashville, it gets worse because those of the think we're good Southern people, F-150 drivers. And I I like the ones who kind of know they're the worst, you know, Mm. you can just feel it. They know. Um, But it's also, I think part of it is my dad when I was younger, as he said, men who drive F-150s are compensating for something. But yeah. Drive around one of them and of course, yes, yes, 100%. I feel like most trucks in general are just. I I no, I feel that too. I just hate trucks. Yeah. Um, here, we'll go with the one that I have had since my young childhood days is Daisy from any of the Mario things. <gasps> why she something about her she grinds my gears man I don't know why it's just I hate her so much (laughs) it's she's just uh, you know it's I think it all started when we got um Mario Kart on the GameCube and she was so good for no reason Daisy had no reason to be as good as she was at Mario Kart as a CPU and she would just she'd pass you and she'd do the little hi Daisy or whatever and it was just like "Mm." and just as a kid not being the best at Mario Kart and hearing that all the time I just (laughs) it just made me so angry I I feel like that's good beef though yeah this one is a little more controversial middle-aged white men who like because there's the ones who are creepy and like they're the worst but Mm -hmm. they're like upper middle class or just upper class in general Mm -hmm. and their entitlement because I work with them Mm -hmm. so I mean they're the worst And then they're the ones driving the F-150s. You know, they're the ones with the raised trucks. Like, bro, see, they're just the worst. And uh, I could go on, but I'd rather not. (laughs) I understand. (laughs) So I I guess we'll put these two together because they're kind of similar. Um, Honeydew melon and nectarines really just... (laughs) get me a little heated sometimes for no reason. Honeydew melon, I will argue, is the worst fruit to ever exist. I will take that to the grave. I think it's terrible. (laughs) It's, why is it green? 
why is it worse than cantaloupe you know like cantaloupe's not great <laughs> but it's bad. so much worse and it's just like it's kind of squishy even though it looks like it's not gonna be and I just really dislike it <laughs> nectarines you know oh, while no. we're on the subject of comparing fruits to other fruits you know honeydew melon is worse than cantaloupe but nectarines are worse than peaches because it's literally the same fruit, oh yeah but it just doesn't have the fuzz on it so why why do they exist you know like it just oh. it, why <laughs> it should be one or the other we shouldn't have both of these things in life just I would one and move on. I would argue for nectarine, but I just like them. I just think they taste good. Like it's nothing. It's they're, no beef. Yeah, like they're good. I don't mind them. I truly enjoy them. But it just makes me mad that like there's peaches and nectarines, and they're usually put Ooh. next to each other at the store, so I can never tell the difference. And it's just like that's. It's just upsetting to me, you know? So, I have another one. And I don't know if it's a beef as much as a fear. Okay. Middle schoolers. Mm -hmm. Like, if I see them, because I occasionally, if I'm like, I just can't focus here, I'll go to a coffee shop that's like around the corner. And usually when I'm there, no one's there because I go at weird times. But one day I went, I had to go for the whole day of class because my niece was over and like we had family over and stuff. Um, so I went to this coffee shop and a couple of like middle school, early high school girls sat behind me. And they were at first just like talking about how Corona is the worst and they can't sit with their boyfriend at the football game and like that kind of thing. Oh God. But then it got into like them being vicious at this one girl. She obviously wasn't there, but like they just went off. Um, I just, you can live with, uh, without them. You know, I think you should send them away like to one part of the country. And honestly, I don't know if it'd be as bad for them. They get to travel. They get to meet a bunch um. of new other angsty middle schoolers like but no I just don't think they're necessary in this time period you know what I mean I kind of agree with that <laughs> they're kind of the worst people they are and they're crazy now like I like will hear stories about some middle schoolers and I am just shocked because who let them do that? How do they know those things exist also? Like, <laughs> some of the things they're doing is nuts. I didn't know oh. about those things until I was, like, 18. <laughs> oh, dude. So, when I was in middle school, um, mm -hmm. one thing, it's just funnier, I was, like, probably a couple inches shorter, but a lot wider, um, as one is. <laughs> and there was this girl that I was kind of friends with no, there was this girl and she was in my creative writing class and we were buds, like in that class only, but we were buds. And one day she just kind of disappeared and we were all like, huh. And then this girl was talking to her friend and she was like, isn't it crazy that like she was selling nudes and doing cocaine? Whoa. Bro, she was like, 12. Yikes. I was like, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know. And it's probably much different than I was told, but. I think also the middle schoolers that need to get sent away are the public school ones. The private school ones are very innocent because I went to public school and one of my friends went to private middle school. Our completely different experiences like yeah we had like kids sending nudes and doing drugs and whatever some kid took a shit in the hallway <laughs> during passing period one time that was crazy oh, 
That is crazy. It's funny though. People would get into like fights in the cafeteria. Yeah, it was just a lot of angst for no reason. As most yeah, because I went to I went to uh, public school during middle school, and same thing. My best friend at the time she went to a private school, mm-hmm. and she was like having the time of her life. Like she was everything was going up for her and then like me it was just like I was like I'm too angst she was too angsty she was too young to be so being so angsty Mm -hmm. and and then like eighth grade I was homeschooled by my choice and that was probably one of the best years of my young life I mean I had no friends like had nothing going on but it was Mm -hmm. like my coming of age isn't that movie by Bo Burnham called eighth grade I have no idea I think so but no eighth grade because seventh grade is the worst Mm -hmm. I don't know but it just sucks overall and I do feel bad for middle schoolers in the way that they're dumb um and the ones that are smart and doing crazy shit it's too much it's too much. Mm-hmm. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I agree. So that's that on middle schoolers. Yeah, we kind of went down the rabbit hole there. Yeah. <laughs> it upsets me so much. Yeah, I, I feel that. Okay, so I guess one thing that has a little bit of a backstory is librarians. I really just like dislike librarians for some reason. And I think it all stems from in, what was it? I think I was in kindergarten or first grade. It was probably both because this is when I lived in Arizona. And um, the librarians at that school were so mean to me for no reason whatsoever. Like, I was a little kid enjoying my time, and one day, I think I, like, did a little jog and jumped onto the beanbag that was in the library, and it was fun. Like, I enjoyed it. Like, it was cute. Like, I feel like someone watching would have been like, oh, that's cute. And then this librarian comes out of her way to find me during class, lines up our class on the side of the hallway, and picks me out of the whole class and goes, you get detention for jumping on the beanbag. And I was just like mortified as a child. That is- Were you, how young were you again? In like first grade, not even. You guys had detention? Yeah. And another time she gave me detention for writing on the table. I didn't write on the fucking table. First of all, let me clear this up with you, Mrs. Librarian. I did not write on the table. (laughs) I used my eraser and spelled out my name with my eraser and then wiped it away. Like, I shouldn't have gotten detention for writing on the table with an eraser. That was also the day that I was crying because my mom didn't say goodbye to me before she left in (laughs) kindergarten. So I was not having a good day. Such a rough day for you. It was. Oh, man. So me and, like, every librarian have beef now because of that lady. Because of one librarian. It's all over. I refuse to talk to them now just because... I know, I know how terrible they can be. Oh, yeah, no. They're the worst. Oh, speaking of, um, where, where does my mind keep going? <laughs> Fake plants. But here's why, because it's not just like real plants. No, there's a lot of good reasons why they should just be eliminated from the planet. Um, they get really dusty. They do. And the cheap, like, plastic, the plastic ones, too? Mm -hmm. And then I hate the hyper-realistic ones. Because then I'm like, I go over and I'm like, hoo, 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 which, who does, I shouldn't be just rubbing leaves either. But I was, I've always like. You too, though. It's like a, I've heard a thing, I keep pointing, I've heard a thing, though, that for some reason, it's more common in girls um, is when you go to a store, you rub the fabric. Like, you're not even thinking about it. You just do it. Mm-hmm. Like, of clothes and stuff. I can see that, I guess. No, because I, 
I didn't realize it until it was pointed out in something I watched or read. And I was like, damn it, bro. You're not making me look good right now, okay? You're supposed to be a good puppy. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but. Hey, bro. Um, yeah, so that's fake plants suck. I don't know where else we were on that. Something about touching them. Oh, yeah, because that's, and it's a bad habit. Like, right now, I really restrain myself. But, like, I mean, it's, I think we all do it. So, you got to wash your new clothes. But that's fake true. plants are still the worst. That's, that. we got completely off topic, but. Yeah, but. They're the worst. I will argue that, like, some people can't have real plants because they kill them, so. They're kind of good in a sense, but... Wait, do you have fake plants? No. Oh, okay. No, I have one, and it's beh it's behind you. It's in front of me. <laughs> and I like it because I can put it in dark places. Mm -hmm. But I have a plant that I think has been alive since freshman year, and it dies, but if you give it a little water, it's fine the next day, which I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. And it's nothing against some people make it really cute, like they'll have it like the hangy thing. Mm -hmm. like that's okay. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't want to see it. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> he turned his little head. Buddy, you're distracting us from the podcast. <laughs> what? Okay, he may leave. Oh, he's just okay. Rude. Um, <laughs> but... Jeez, 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 jeez. Okay, we just need to go on to whatever you have to say. Okay. Um, I definitely have beef with Jerry Seinfeld. I don't know why, but I just hate him. I hate him so much. I just hate him so much. Like, Seinfeld, the TV show, wasn't funny. I, so, no, it wasn't funny at all. No. Same, with, same with Friends, the TV show. I think that's garbage. It's so but bad. I, I will take it to the grave. Worst show. I put it on shows. to go to sleep. I don't even do that. It would keep me up and cause nightmares. I <laughs> it. it makes me, it's so bad boring it makes me fall asleep it's pretty yeah edgy but just like ah jerry seinfeld man he just makes me angry for no reason at all i've always hated him too that's like a weird thing i didn't know that you also hated him yeah no i hate him because i I've, I've watched seinfeld before and i keep trying to give it chances but it's just like not good i can't do it i can't it's all do just it. a bunch of white people that aren't funny both shows. Yeah, exactly. Both shows. That's what Don't sucks. Need that here. Oh shit, it's my turn, isn't it? Okay. This is just I like One Direction a lot. And I was talking to um Kian's roommate's girlfriend about about this and I feel like it's only time. Liam Payne from One Direction. Him? I don't know why pretty much ever since I was younger he's been my least favorite of One Direction but as he like exited One Direction and gets older he's just getting worse like his music sucks it's not good. he sucks he's gone through he was like the nice one and now he's like now saying he's really mean. yeah he's being really mean to Harry and I'm like bro from a manager's perspective, Harry's doing a lot better with you. You better be like chummy because no one likes him anymore. Mm -mm. There's no reason to, but. Yeah, I will say I never really listened to One Direction when they were popular. I listened to them after because I was forced into being a One Direction fan when I was not. Like, like who? 
by my friends in middle school because they all, we all went to this store and we all had to buy bracelets with our favorite One Directioner on it. And I got Louie because <gasps> I didn't like any of them. And so I was forced to wear an I Heart Louie bracelet around middle school and I did <laughs> not want that. So I hated One Direction after that, but I like them now. Like I'll go back and listen to them occasionally. You know? I it's a problem for me though, because I'll be listening to them like like Spotify just came out with a time capsule playlist. Mm-hmm. And like some of the songs I've never listened to in my life. Like I don't know how they came up with it. But every time a One Direction song came on, I like giggle for a while. And then I sing half of it and then I'm like, I'm really embarrassed and I'll just skip it. Like, it's such a weird emotional struggle for me. Mm-hmm. Okay, I get that. And Louis is the best in One Direction. He went off the deep end and then had like real big tragedies happen to him. But like... You know, in Euphoria, I didn't know this. I was watching some like review on it because like after I finish a series I like to like see what other people think about it so I know I'm not wrong and they were talking (laughs) in um if you've never seen Euphoria there's a character Kat on the show who in her story arc she writes the One Direction fan fiction that was super popular whatever apparently Louie like threw a fit about it and was like not happy that it was in the show and the girl was just like shut up Louie like you're irrelevant now you should be glad they said your name and I was like oh (laughs) damn that's cold it's cold blooded no because you know the like this is just me this has become my expose (laughs) um but that ship Louie and Harry I really believed it and last year did. last year at this time I think Lucy and I started talking more about our like nerdy phases mm-hmm. or like obsession phases and I was like well mine was my really big one was One Direction um and she was like oh yeah you ship these two and I was like no 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 but I have hours of proof I mean there there are YouTube channels dedicated to Larry Stylinson proof And you know what, when I was 12, when I was 12 and like, I wanted romance, but you can't have romance at 12, I lived through them and their fan fiction. But the thing is, they never really super interact anymore. They did write when it ended, but then they, you know how it'd be. It'd be like that. Fan fiction's a weird thing to get into. Oh, did I ever tell you that I wrote fan fiction? <laughs> no. Oh, God. Not good. It's not good. It's actually horrible. But I, it's not under my name. It's not connected to any of my email addresses. Like, you can't find it. But last time I checked, because I was reading them to Kian one day, because he was driving me crazy. So I was like, let me read you the fan fiction I wrote. Um... Oh, no, but uh, last time I checked, I had 10,000 reads. Damn. Who I'm is just, it about? I, I can say, for the sake of conversation, Louis and Harry. Okay. Interesting. I um, went on to write about a bunch of different other things, too. But <laughs> they didn't do as well as that one did. Yeah. So. What an interesting thing, too like be alive during that time like fan fiction like started really like during one direction you know because it was like because bizarre 50 shades of gray was from twilight it was a twilight fan fiction Mm -hmm. and then oh 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 did you see that movie it was like a big i don't remember what it's called but the netflix one 365 yes yeah, I haven't watched it just because I heard it was so bad, but I know that one's based off of a fan fiction also. Yeah, there's a, like... But like, a really bad one is 
based off of like a guy capturing a girl who's underage. It's like Mm-mm. no, because I mean there was fan fiction like that. I didn't read it. I read the edgy stuff. Not like, like I'm the... hoping. I'm hoping one person that watches this knows what I'm talking about because I'm about to spit out a couple mm-hmm. names. There was, I think, 99 Days Without You. It might have been a bigger number. There was Room 317. Um, oh, what's the big... There was one big one, though. And that's the one I'm not going to remember the name of. But, oh, uh, I cried. I remember reading them. Like, I remember I'd, like, be in a shoe store reading them or I'd be, like... At the beach, I'd like try to read through a whole like 50 chapter one. Oh, That's and crazy. room 317 is my favorite. I read it to Lucy, though they edited it because it was on AO3 and got deleted. So they put it on Wattpad, but it's like they took all the good stuff out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I cried on the beach. Well, a 12 year old Emma getting oh. emotional in the club. Oh. So, yeah. Okay, we don't need to, I could talk about One Direction all day. We don't need to do this. Okay. Is it my turn then? Oh, yeah. So, one thing that really just, like, gives me the heebie-jeebies, and I hate it so much, is the I smell like beef vine. You know, the one of that little girl that's, like, looking out the window, and she's like, I smell like beef. <laughs> I, uh, it make it makes me so uncomfortable. I don't know why it just does, and I cannot stand it. Like, that is the one thing that I hate so much in this world is that vine. I don't know why, but I just, I just hate it. I can't explain uh, it. I love, yeah. No, I don't like that one particularly either, actually. Um, there's good vines and there's like bad vines yeah, and both definitely. got popular so yeah which is sad um, but... it is sad what was I gonna oh speaking of like media things mm-hmm. there's one song that I was shown that haunts me and it's not a popular song it's just this song that I don't even know the artist but it drives me nuts it's called magnet and it's literally it's written the lyrics are so bad the, there's nothing exciting in the music like it's just ugh, and it grinds my gears and every time I listen to like black bear in the car mm-hmm. with people you know I Lucy loves it like most people I hang out with love it but Kian and David, which is Kian and his roommate, have beef with Black Bear. That's probably one of theirs. So they're always like, especially Kian is like, no, he just sucks. I don't know why you listen to him. He also knows all the words to their songs, but like, whatever, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go punch Kian because that's uncalled for and rude. <laughs> yeah. You know how I feel about Black Bear. That hasn't changed since freshman yeah. year. Like, I'm, like, I don't go out of my way to listen to him that much, but he's a good writer and musician like he's a king we we support him here on this channel we do we love black bear but he'll say something in the car because there's one line in a black bear song he doesn't it's a like featured one so i don't even know if he wrote the line but it's i show mashed potatoes got you creaming right you know i don't (laughs) like that line either okay i don't but I think Ken and I will just be talking about music or I'll be putting on music in his car mm-hmm. and he'll be like, you know, Black Bear, like all, for all you know about music, I don't know why you listen to Black Bear. And I was like, oh, he showed me Magnet. He was like, I was like that you can't, after showing me that you can't say anything about it mm-hmm. anymore. But yeah, I have yeah. beef particularly with that song. I get that. I definitely, the one thing that will always be, like, in the top, top, like, five of my list of things I have beef with is geese. Oh, I get that. Just geese. They're so obnoxious. I think it it started from a young age. I just have always had a hatred for them. They're so mean. 
too. Like, why are they so chonky also? There's no <laughs> reason for it. Chonk. I remember one time I was at the zoo with some people and there was a goose and he was under the picnic table that we were eating at and it would like slither its head up like around to try to get like fries off the table and the one kid that was sitting next to me who the geese was next to him he was terrified and I thought it was the funniest thing ever but then it started hissing at us and that's when that's when things changed very quickly we we left after that you have to go after that I have like one how, how did they make that hissing sound too that's another thing I don't understand. they have teeth yeah, have you seen the bizarre. pictures of geese's teeth? No, I don't want to. Oh, oh you don't want terrifying. to. No. But pretty much the one geese story I have that is just mm-hmm. traumatizing is I think I was like seven. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I was, because geese get fed bread a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot. They're like ducks. Yeah. Um, so I think the day before we had been giving old bread to geese, which I know now you're mm-hmm. not supposed to do, but like I was seven. Um. Mm-hmm. So the next day I walk out of, we're on a trip. We're not at our house. We're on a trip. I don't know if I already Mm -hmm. said that, but I walk out of like our hotel room and like downstairs and outside with my siblings and everything. And these, these geese come out of nowhere and they're just like staring us down. We're staring them down. Like, it's like, what, what do we even do here? Mm -hmm. And the geese had the upper hand so they were chasing me and my brother and he was like go inside he's like i i don't want you to die this way and then if you looked out the window it was just him and the geese running in circles (laughs) more feel bad for him there but like it's still still... as a kid it's horrifying yeah i i would have Uh, okay. I have, I feel like I have a lot of food ones. Hard boiled eggs. People that eat those are sociopaths. (laughs) My dad eats those. Sorry, Mr. Crockett, but. (laughs) Um, no, I mean, like, I didn't mind them. I like, uh, what's it called? When they, like, have the little egg white and they like mix up the the, oh yes yeah I love deviled eggs but hard boiled eggs on their own Mm -hmm. first no matter how much salt and pepper you add it's just gonna taste like nothing (laughs) nothing like there is no gratification from eating a hard boiled egg it's just eating Mm -hmm. a hard boiled egg and then by the time you get to the yolk if it's cooked how like I feel like it's a more American style of hard boiled eggs where they're like Hard. They're like chalky. Yeah. No. And then this is a like <laughs> so much. But recently I've when I try to eat them, it makes my gum hurt. Like my gums hurt. And I have very healthy teeth. I bite ice cream. But hard boiled eggs, <laughs> I can't do it. And it's, I don't know. I just think like people who wake up every day and are like, yes, I get to eat my hard boiled eggs. Oh God, I don't, I don't get it. I'm like, I just, I that's bizarre. I'm, I'm very upset about this, but I hate hard boiled egg. I understand backpacking off of that. Something I have beef with is having the eggs in the dairy section at the grocery <laughs> store. I just don't, <laughs> why is it there? It's not, you know, it should be in the, it's like more of a produce. I feel like it should be should be by like the meats and stuff that's what I was gonna say that kind of area makes a lot of sense yeah it just does because I always go looking around the store for it and my mom always has to go go to the dairy section I'm like that's (laughs) the last place that I want to go to go get these eggs why is it there I got lost in Publix the other day though like there's one in Nashville and I don't go to Publix I go to Kroger Mm mm-hmm but wait, went and I don't remember what I was, oh, I was looking for, you know, like the Starbucks little glass frappuccino things, like yeah. those kind of things. 
was mm-hmm. looking for one of those, like just one with almond milk because none of them have almond milk in them. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't find them, period. Like I was like, I looked down all the drink aisles. I looked down the coffee aisle. Like I, I did the most to try to find it, right? Mm-hmm. They were in the fridge with the milk. And they're not like, what? Like, I'm like, how do you even? Should be on by the drinks. Yeah. Or like, you know, certain stores have those little like coolers, Mm -hmm. like next to the register because they know you'll grab stuff Mm -hmm. like that. Okay. I'll give them that. But like when it's, they're supposed to be on the shelf. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be room temperature. They taste like regret. Like that is what we know. So. That's upsetting. Very upsetting. Was that an, was that another one of yours, or is that just? Oh, do I have another turd? <laughs> oh yeah, I have another turd. Cause you did the grocery store thing, huh? We can count that as yours too. You can't think. I'm trying to think. I, one, there's another grocery store themed one. I have three more left. If that helps self-checkout lines just it being a line for the self-checkout yes and I know that sounds bad but here's the thing I always there's nothing more refreshing than getting to the front of the line like you can see what's going on you're like Mm -hmm. tell me why every time I go to Kroger to get anything because I don't buy much when I go I'm usually looking for one thing so I'm Mm -hmm. in and out there's like a man buying like five different kinds of beer. There's an old lady who's having a conversation with the worker. There's a lady and her kids and she's letting her kids scan things, but they're four and don't know what they, they're doing. That was the and best then, part of my shopping experience. As well. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Whatever. Now at the self-checkout, like I, this is my space. This is okay. I'm a, okay. instant gratification. That's all those mm-hmm. are. Mm-hmm. So, and then there's the one person that there's hope for, but then their card declines. And it's always, every time, every time I get to the front and I'm just sitting there with like a coffee, for example. And I'm just like, I just, I gotta get to work or I gotta get to bed. Like, I don't, no, no. Um, yeah. I just hate lines. I don't know why I made it so specific, but I just hate lines. They stress me out. I understand that. I, it's annoying. I, one thing that I have beef with that started more recently, it happened last year, is gnats. Or I oh, guess fruit, yeah. fruit flies, if, if like that's what you call them. Gnats. <laughs> First of all, the G in Nats is silent, which just makes me angry. Because, like, there's no point. But last year, when I was in the dorms, I, there was nothing wrong with my dorm, but one day there were just hundreds of gnats in my room. Hundreds. Like, I would go and shake my tapestry off, like hundreds of them would fly off of it. It was the most disgusting and disturbing thing. Like I didn't have garbage in the room. Nothing was wrong with it. They, I think they just came out through like the, the window or something, even though I couldn't open the window. It was very weird. But so I had to evacuate my room for like a couple of weeks while I waited for them to, to die. But ever That's since all then- you can do. But because they're just so annoying on their own, like you can never like kill them because they just like do 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 and you kind of like smack them away. But then it's like, uh, don't know? really do much. Yeah, they're just annoying. But like hundreds of them. Oh, that is the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced in my life. I feel like it was bad. So me and Nats have have major beef now big beef. big beef so one that's like 
not relevant. The color brown. You just don't like it? No, I mean, like, what? Uh, no, it's more like when people say their favorite color is brown. Whose favorite color is brown? You would not believe the amount of people I've met. But I'm like, oh, what's your favorite color? And they're like, brown. Oh. Who in their right mind likes brown the best? It's the color of poop. Like I, That's true. And if you notice, my walls are brown. Oh, you're not seeing there's a bookshelf that's brown. There's a shelf more that's tan, brown. though. But it's still brown. And I, I didn't like... want it like this color, but our whole yeah. house is painted this color. So we're just going to stuck with it. And my mom was like, you can paint. And I'm like, it's a lot of work, though. So I'm just going to have a brown like, poopy room. Brown isn't a terrible color if it's like wood and stuff. Like, I like dark brown wood, but yeah, if that's your favorite color, you can go, go jump in the hole, bunny. <laughs> that's messed up. No, it's just the worst. It's the it's people just... that end up having, like, it's not boring people always. But if they're not boring, they're going to do something really bad in this near future, I feel like. I, yes. Like, I, not something, like, real bad, same. like... They did something gently bad. I mean, like, bad. Like, trouble bad. So. No, no, that's a personal thought, but I think it's true. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Speaking of poop. (laughs) Okay. I, you know how you say projectile vomiting? Yeah. Right? Because it, you know, like, it goes. Mm Mm-hmm. Why don't we call diarrhea proje- pro- projectile. projectile pooping? Because it's a different consistency. But it's not. But I really, in- <laughs> I like, I like where you're going with that one. Um, I have beef with Center Claus, who is the equivalent of Santa Claus for people who live in Holland because that is their equivalent of Christmas they have center cross and so we celebrate that in my family because my dad lived in Holland for a while as a kid um and the first year that we celebrated it I was in like third grade or something because we had just gotten we went I don't know. I think we got wooden shoes from somewhere, like the clogs. Yeah. And so, like, I wasn't really sure what was going to happen. Like, you know, I was kind of hyped for it. And we come downstairs, and my dad's like, check the shoes. And I'm like, okay. And I'm in like third grade. So I was just like, I hope it's candy because that'd be sick. And it was. So I was really hyped. But then I read the ingredients list and it all had peanut warnings on it. So I couldn't eat any of it. So I started sobbing. I was like, Cinder Claus hates me. Like he does, he did this on purpose. He said I was being like a bad kid. And now I can't eat any of the candy. And I was just like so upset about it for no reason. And I found out that it was my dad that bought all the candy and just forgot to check check the labels. So so me and my dad have beef now. <laughs> I'll round it out to that. <laughs> I have beef with um, my dad. I love actually but, yeah. the shoe thing. Because we did that yeah. in because I went to like a it was a public elementary school, but it was like a nice public elementary school. So Mm -hmm. we celebrated, like, that month before Christmas, we celebrated, like, every Mm -hmm. country's the way they do it. Um, And we didn't, I think we just used, which is kind of gross, we just used the shoes we were wearing, and we just put them out. And then we kind of, like, walked away and closed our eyes, (laughs) and then came back, and we had, like, tangerines in our shoes, Mm -hmm. and, like, I loved it. Yeah. 
I, and I love oranges. You know that my passion for oranges. I like so, orange as well. So. Yeah. They're awesome. 10 out of 10. One thing that really makes me so angry is Halloween Oreos. But it's not because they're bad. It's because they're arguably the best tasting Oreos out of all of them. For some reason, they always taste better than regular Oreos to me. But it makes me mad because they're, one, not double stuffed. And two, only available in October. So I buy like one pack of Oreos a year because I eat those ones in like a couple days and then don't want to go back to the grocery store. But then I can't have them again. It's the best ones. It just makes me mad that they're only available for Halloween. And they get little spooky, you get spooky little like things on them. You know, you can get some bats and stuff and it's just fun. I really enjoy it, but it makes me angry that they're only around for Halloween, you know? Oh yeah, it's like I thought they had the double stuffed version now. My, I haven't, I haven't looked, but yeah. You haven't gone this year. You haven't gotten no, your only batch of Oreos this year. No. I feel the same, and this is arguably, but also not going on for your thing. Mm-hmm. Orange Kit Kats, like the Halloween Kit Kats, they don't taste mm-hmm. like oranges. They're just orange. Mm-hmm. And everyone's like, they're just the white chocolate Kit Kats. I'm like. Don't ask me why these taste so much better than it's just the, the orange white chocolate. I Kit think Kat. it's orange food coloring just makes shit taste better for some reason. It must, like I have a conspiracy theory. Yeah, dude. Wait. It's more. <laughs> yeah, I will argue till the day I die. Halloween stuff, like Halloween specials, are always better than any normal things. They just, just they true. taste, I don't know how they do it, but it tastes better. Yeah. Whack. <sighs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. All right. We'll see you next week with another one. Peace.